All right, so we have our chickens, our baby chickens in here. They're a little over a week old, and it's supposed to be in the 30s tonight. Yikes. So, I don't feel totally comfortable with leaving them in here, and we don't want them inside because they are loud. I'm thinking they might be fine, but I just want to be safe about it. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this. So I made a little cubby for them, put some tin in the back. And this is really just to keep them out of the elements, hopefully. You know, hopefully if there's like wind coming in, it's not supposed to rain, which is good. But this will kind of keep them blocked from the wind there too. And hopefully kind of keep them a little bit more contained in here. But uh, I don't know, let's check back in the morning and let's see if they're still alive. <laughs> All right, so next day, the next morning, and it's about 40 degrees out. It never got down to the 30s. It's about 40s the whole night. Let's check on our chickens. What's up, chickens? You guys are cold? Some of you over there. All right, you still have water. Let's get you some food. Right, I think we need to pick up some more hay for tonight. This was all the hay that we had. But I think it's okay. I really need to make a brooder. All right, so it's the next day. <laughs> and uh, look what we have here. We added some hay bales in here. You guys all right? Chickens are huddling. They're a little bit cold. Some of them are getting out, which is good. They're active. Guys, it was down in the 30s last night, like 30 degrees colder than the previous night um, but uh, they seem to be okay when you get them some water some more feed I think this thing helped the hay bales I think definitely was helpful Wow water froze last night <laughs> I guess it got really cold that's living in the mountains you know unpredictable I'll be back. I'll be back for you guys. They're out of feed. All right, guys. Sun's coming out. So fermenting feed is really just soaking their feed. Um, back in the old days, <laughs> they used to call it slop. Some of you guys let me know about that, I didn't know. Uh, but I guess nowadays we call it fermenting. <laughs> I have three buckets. This has been going for about three days. That's for about two. And then we're adding some kelp. There's our minerals. Them. I've been trying to train them to follow me with the bucket because when we let them out, we are going to let them out. <laughs> I want to be comfortable around them and them around me. And I want them to be able to follow me with the feed bucket in case they get out. So there's a little bit of feed in there, so I usually rinse that out and then give it to them. It's been over a little two weeks. I'm noticing 
the area is really compacted or it's getting compacted by uh, the pigs. They're just like stomping around and they're rooting up in here. And then this is kind of their, their poop area. They're also making compost here and it is piling high and I may have to take some of this out, <laughs> but uh, it's also decomposing. And that's one of the reasons why we have them in here really is because uh, they're making compost for us for our garden. And we buy compost every year, usually, not this year, but but if they can turn all this into compost, th this is around $800 worth of compost that we're making here. Are you planting more seeds? I'm trying to get some onion seeds in the ground, but for some reason, these are not liking it. I've had really good luck with leeks. They're doing really well in the greenhouse and here, direct seeding. But this, the onions are just not, they're not working out for me this year. Look at that. This is a potato plant. There's another one there. This, this half a row is potato. This whole row is potato. So they're popping up. Well, as you can see, <laughs> The drawback of using this Agrabond row cover, which we love, is that it tears fairly easily. It maybe lasts maybe one season or two seasons. And well, it didn't help. I think our groundhog got to yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we had a groundhog that helped that. You're hanging out with the chicks? Yeah, they're, uh, I'm chick catching them. So, I'm just cleaning them and everything. Got some kelp. Apple cider vinegar. I'm coming guys. Food scraps. And then some of you guys have been commenting like how come you don't unfreeze their food? Because we pretty much, which I do take it out, it just doesn't freeze all the way. It just doesn't unfreeze all the way. Does it matter? I don't know. I, I actually thought that if it was frozen, it would give them something to do, you know, something to work for, uh, instead of just having the food there. Um, but I, what do I know? I don't know. I don't think it would hurt them. It's just frozen food. And then it would also maybe make them more cooler. So this is the new meat chicken tractor that I built. I'll leave a link down in the show notes how I built it, but we need to get those egg laying chickens out of our house. And since I have this, I'm not gonna use this for meat chickens until maybe a month from now. We still have maybe a month. Um, so we're, we're gonna, since we have it, I'm gonna use it for some of our egg layers. So this is a outlet for some Christmas lights. All right, you guys ready to get these chickens out of here? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready because I've had it with them. <laughs> All right, let's do this. What? Hold the door open, Dad's coming. All right. This is the first time the chickens have been outside. These chickens are about two weeks old. <sighs> Hi, Gilbert Blythe. That's Gilbert Blythe? Yeah. Carrots. Not carrots, and Shirley. I love it. They go crazy for it. Look at them. They're like running around with it in their mouth. Yeah, that's good. Alright, they're discovering the grass now. So if I'm gonna put these pigs outside on grass, uh, they're gonna need a portable pig shelter. So what that is, I'm in the process of doing that. Hey brothers. Wanna see if you ate all that kelp. Looks like you did, good job. 
Just doing my rounds after dinner here. Let's see how the chickens are doing. How you guys doing? Bernice. How are you doing today, Bernice? <laughs> All right. They don't look cold. Just good. You guys look good too. I appreciate all the positivity that you guys give us and all the great comments that you guys send. And it's been nothing but good from you guys. I, I appreciate that. Because um, we all can need, we all need it. We all need the positivity right now. There's no room for negativity. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one.